Hello, this is Matt Kraus, and welcome to today's edition of English Bytes. Today, I wanted to look at the headline, ECB's New Faces Give Investors Pause for Thought Over Policy Shifts. And I wanted to draw your attention in particular to this phrase, to give someone pause for thought. To give someone pause for thought. And this phrase, to give someone pause for thought, you can probably guess what it means. It means to make someone stop and think a little bit before they take action. So this headline could also read ECB's new faces make investors stop and think about policy shifts. And there isn't much difference between these two phrases to give someone pause for thought and to make someone stop and think. So I think that in this case, the Financial Times was just trying to save space and they were trying to use fewer words. There's a slight difference. It's not a big difference, There's a, but a slight difference. This phrase, to give someone pause or to give someone pause for thought, either one means that they're a little more reluctant. They're a little more cautious. They're a little more afraid of taking action. But it's not a big difference. I think that in this case, the, the main reason that Financial Times chose this phrase to give someone pause for thought, the main reason that, that Financial Times chose this phrase was probably just to save space in the headline.